This week we're doing something I've wanted to do since I started kayaking and going to Canberra for the annual balloon spectacular. G'day and welcome back to the channel. I haven't made a video in a couple of months. The few times I've been able to kayak, the weather's actually turned out to be really ordinary. So it's not made it great for trying to film. I normally spend most of the time just trying to stay in the kayak. Today, we're gonna to be heading south about three hours to Canberra for the annual balloon spectacular. My videos tend to be the kayaking guides or expedition videos. The kayaking guides were the sort of thing I was looking for when I was getting started. It shows you how to go and paddle somewhere step by step. The expeditions are more where myself and a group of friends will just go off and do something fun. This is going to be a little bit of a combination. I'll try and give you some information on the trip in case you're thinking about doing it, but it won't be as much info as I normally put into a kayaking guide. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out in the comments. I'm going to be starting on the north side of Sydney, up near Hornsby. From here, we're going to take the North Connects and then the M7 until we get to the M5. And we'll follow that down the road, uh, past the exits at Bundanoon, until we get to Goulburn. Just past Goulburn, we have the off-ramp that takes us through to Canberra. So let's get on the road. And here's the first item on our Sydney bingo road trip list, traffic on a motorway. Box number two on the road trip bingo is a stop at the Bundanoon Surface Centre. So I'm at the next stop on the Sydney road trip bingo list, which is to find a giant novelty animal. So I'm here at Goulburn, where I've got the big merino. If you're coming down this way, one thing you don't want to miss is the off-ramp to Canberra. I did it once, and the alternative is to go through Yass, and nobody wants to go through Yass. Lake George is known as Wera Wera to the local Ngunnawal people, who are the traditional custodians of this part of the country. And just to say welcome to Canberra, here's some more roadworks. I've just arrived in Canberra and I'm staying at the pavilion on Northbourne. It's a lot nicer than the kayaking uh, accommodation I'm used to when I'm out camping. So while this isn't a travel channel, I'll give you a quick look at the room. Uh, it cost $145 for the night and it actually sleeps three in the room, not two. So that's a nice bonus. Another neat feature is that there's plenty of secure off-street parking. So I don't think I'm even going to need to lock the kayak up tonight. I can just park it in the area. It's nice and secure and it's gated. Before I head off to dinner, tomorrow at 5.15, we're meeting in the car park at the Pavilion on Northbourne. From there, we're going to head down to Lake Park, which is near Russell Offices. From there, it's about two kilometers up to where the balloons are launching at Patrick White Terrace. Once we see the balloons launch from Patrick White Terrace, we'll move over to near the National Museum to see them come down near the water. When the balloons finish, we'll go back to Kingston for breakfast and then head back to the launch. Okay, from here, I'm off to dinner. I'll see you in the morning. A few moments later. Good morning. Uh, so it's just gone 5 a.m. and uh, I'm just about to get underway to the launch. Uh, last night was pretty good. The hotel's got really great facilities and uh, yeah, let's get started. As we launched, a lady called out to us that there'd be 600 dragon boaters on the way back. We didn't believe her at the time. It was really dark and we had lights on our heads, but we turned them off while I was filming because they were washing out all the other lights in the area. I'm with Tim and Toby, who I know through the solo kayaking group on Facebook. They're both moderators, so I'm kind of spoiling their paddle by forcing them not to paddle on their own today. Hello. 
Well, we've made it to the balloons. It's just on 6.30 and uh, waiting for them to launch. That looks like our first balloon firing up for the day. Have our first balloon. Always love the Air Force leading the way. This balloon was piloted by my friend Andrew. He has a YouTube channel as well and I highly recommend you check it out. It's excellent. It was about at this point that I realised he was likely to touch the water near the National Museum so we raced down to meet him. Good morning. I couldn't believe the variety of boats that we saw on the water this morning. Little kids, old people, sups, inflatables, everybody was out and it was great. Alright, so this is my mate Andrew in front of us. I got stuck behind a few slow people at this point, but uh, it was really excellent to see Andrew and his balloon down by the water. True to his word, Andrew did send photos later. It was really cool to be able to see myself like this from the air. I'm just going to admit that I actually forgot to take any video on myself at this point because I was enjoying the balloons so much, so you'll just have to deal without seeing me for a bit and getting some voiceover. The Canberra Balloon Spectacular is an annual event. It's been going on since 1988, where the first one was held as a one-day event to celebrate the bicentenary of Australia. It was so popular because it was a unique concept and it actually provided a positive use for all the hot air that the politicians generate down in Canberra, so it's now happening every year. Canberra Day is normally the second Monday in March. The Balloon Spectacular normally starts on the weekend before and runs for a week, so it's usually pretty easy to find it in the calendar. The Balloon Spectacular is now part of what's called the Enlightened Festival, which has a number of other elements to it. They actually light up all the uh, federal buildings with light displays, kind of like Vivid in Sydney. And uh, on top of that, they have markets and a number of other events, so it's well worth getting down there. The advantage of going on this weekend around Canberra Day is most Canberrans actually take off to Jervis Bay for the weekend, so you get the place pretty much to yourself. This was my favourite shot of the day. It never actually occurred to me how much water comes off a balloon after it's touched the water. If you're watching at this point, I'm just going to throw it out there. Liking and subscribing would really help the channel. YouTube recommends based on people who watch and subscribe. Another thing I didn't know is that it's possible to surf behind a balloon. Uh, I would have thought it wasn't a great idea, but there you go. I'm just going to leave you alone for a minute with some music to enjoy the event.
Capital Chemist was the last balloon to come down to the water and the strap it held behind it was what everyone was hanging on to. It was really cool to see. I'm paddling today on Lake Burley Griffith. It was originally the Malongolo River and it was dammed to create a lake for the capital. Before it was a lake or a capital or even a sheep station, it was the home of the Ngunnawal people and they're the traditional owners of this part of the land. So I just want to take a second to acknowledge them. The balloon with the pigtails is called Lucy and the enlightened people say it's quite unique. As the last of the balloons launched, I realised that I'd lost track of Toby and Tim and I started to get a little bit nervous, but oddly enough they turned up right away. So from here we did the two kilometres back to the other side of the lake from where we launched so we could go into Kingston and get a spot of breakfast. We got up really early and I hadn't had a coffee so I was really looking forward to it. We also ran into a fellow Mirage owner, Hugh, from the Mirage Owners Group so it was great to see him. That was pretty awesome. Uh, we've just come up to Kingston, we're going to get some breakfast and then head back to the launch, but uh, wow. Kingston has a kayak launch area, but it's pretty slippery and a little bit tricky if you're not used to it. There's a bunch of awesome cafes. We stopped at Bean and Table. It was really busy after the balloon festival, but we were lucky to get a table. Uh, Toby and I had the burrito bowl. It was excellent as a way to start the morning. When we got back to where we left the kayaks, we realised a lot of other people had had the same idea. Luckily we got in early and found a place to park. Mostly we launch from beaches or riverbanks, so getting in off a pier like this is a little bit of a challenge. Tim showed us how it was done and uh, made me really nervous that I was going to go in after he did it successfully. After we got in, it was a pretty simple 1k paddle back across the river to the launch. There's those 600 dragon boaters the lady told us about. This has been an excellent trip. If you're thinking about it, do it. I highly recommend it. Got to be the best paddle I've done in a long time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.